<laughs> Good morning, YouTube. It is 6.42, and I woke up thinking about you guys and how I haven't did a video in months, despite all the talk of consistency in the previous videos, which I don't know what's wrong with me. I do not know. And I was thinking once I moved into my new space, things would change. But I'm in a new space um, for the second full month and no consistency yet. But today, I want to do a get ready with me. I don't know what I'm getting ready for, but I just want to get ready and chit chat. So I'm going to lay in this bed for a few more um, minutes, maybe a few more hours, it's still early. And then I'll check back in and we'll start getting ready. Hey y'all, I'm back. Like I said, I would be um, more than a decent hour. It's more so like 10 now. Um, I did go back to sleep last time I talked to y'all, but anywho, I'm sitting in the floor. I wanted to sit at my desk, but I didn't have a mirror to prop up there. So what's the point? Um, I'm right in front of the window because I couldn't find my um, the piece with my ring light. So hopefully the lighting is good. It looks good to me. Um, yeah, I ain't going to spend too much time with a little intro or whatever I be doing. We just going to get into the makeup. I don't have a makeup idea. I think I'm going to do close to my hair color. Um, when I say that, I know y'all can see this. Um, but I'm probably going to use this palette. I think I want to use this color. Um, and this is the Ace Beauty Nostalgia palette. It actually came in one of my um, BoxyCharms palettes. And I love... Not Boxy Charms palette, Boxy Charms boxes, and I love this palette. I think out of all the palettes I've gotten from Boxy Charms, this is the best one. I love the color story. The freaking swatches are amazing. Like this color, heat right here, so smooth. Yes, and don't mind my nails. It looks like I've been eating Cheetos, but we just colored my hair yesterday. So let's get started. You know, first thing I start with is my eyebrows. Nothing has really changed with my, and if you hear this, my makeup is in boxes in front of me. Um, but what was I gonna say? Yeah, my brow routine hasn't really changed but like how i move it i can't explain you just gonna have to watch me um yeah let's start with brows hopefully i can talk and do makeup so if i get quiet that means i'm focused and i never do makeup holding a mirror like this so who knows how this is gonna turn out but i'm gonna hope for the best um but yeah, I'm gonna just brush my eyebrows up. This is not a tutorial, so I'm not gonna be explaining everything I'm doing to y'all. Because this is just gonna be a get ready with me chit chat video. And what are we chatting about today? I have no idea. Um, What's new in my life? I would say I have moved into my own place. Um, I've been here for one full month and then this is my second month. I moved in the end of April. I think it was like April 23rd. So yeah, I'm in my new space. It is peaceful. I do like living on my own. The only thing is sometimes I get bored. That's the only thing. Um, but then, like, my brother stays with me. 
um, like one weekend out of the month and then he's with me since school is out. But sometimes it's like, it's crazy because sometimes it's like he just too loud, he just too this, it's just too much. But then when he gone, I'm lonely and I'm missing him. So. My stomach is growling. I don't think I can hear that. I haven't eaten anything yet. Um, but yeah, I'm in my new place. Me and Zeus, if you hear snoring, he's actually in the closet. That's why I left that door open. He's definitely in my dirty clothes sleeping right now. He just can't help himself. He has to get in there. And initially I wasn't letting him, but now I really don't even care. Ooh, that brow looking good already. Okay, so the only thing now about my brows that I do differently is like, I brush it up so it gives like hair strokes in the front. Yeah, it looks a little rough right now, but it'll come together. Um, so yeah, that's new. That's the only thing new with me is the apartment. And I kind of hate when people ask me if I like it because I don't know if they want me to elaborate on it because they like, oh, do you like it? I'm just like, yeah, I like it. And that's it. Like, what am I supposed to say more? I don't know. But yeah, I like it. I don't like having to pay, uh, how much do I pay? My rent is 950 which isn't a good, you know, price range. But do I want to pay it? No, I don't. Who wants to pay rent? Not I. And if you enjoy paying rent, something is wrong. But anyway, I guess it's adulting. Um... Um, I'm not finished decorating, which is only the second month. I know in the first month, well, up until probably this week, I've been like just rushing. I got to get this. I got to get this. I got to get this. Spending so much money in a rush to furnish the place. And I'm like, Kira, what are you rushing for? It's only your second month. And like, yes, it gives me anxiety a little bit for stuff not to be exactly how I want it to be. But I need to take my time, spend money, you know, gradually rather than like pumping. Like, I don't even know how much money I done spent. It's probably been a couple of thousand, which gives me anxiety too. But yeah, um, the bedroom for the most part, the basics are done, is done. I do want like three tall wooden Candelabras? Is it candelabras or candelibras? Candelabras. It's like the tall candle stands. I want wooden ones, like a oak wood with some white ash paint on it or something. And then maybe a chair to go in the bedroom. And then everything else will be like maybe wall art. That's it for the bedroom. Um, and that stuff probably be the last thing that I do, um, for the living room, Lord. Um, let me draw this brow real quick. I really need to arch my eyebrows, but for the living room. So it's been a little bit of fiasco. I bought a rug, 
It was way too tiny. Octavia told me to get it. My mama told me to get it. It was a five by seven. Put it in the freaking living room. It looked like living room this big, the rug this freaking big. So I had to roll it. Oh, there goes Zeus. I had to roll it up and send it back. So then I ordered a new rug. The correct size should have been an eight by 10. So if y'all could visualize that a five by seven versus an eight by 10, that's a big difference. Um, so yeah, I have the rug, but I didn't order the freaking pad to go under it. So it keeps bunching up. So I'm gonna have to get that. Uh, what else? And I'm just going over the stuff I had to change and send back. Um, I bought a wicker coffee table. I loved it because I wanted to go wicker. And wicker and Radin, Rattan, Radin, R-A-T-T-A-N, if you want to look it up. Um, it's super expensive right now. I paid $157 for the coffee table, um, which is, if you see it, it's kind of pricey in my opinion. But once the couch got in, it did not look good. I honestly should have waited to get anything. I should have waited to get stuff after the couch got here. But anywho, I actually sold that. I sold it last week. I put it up and it sold within a day. So that's really, um, what's the word? It's trendy right now. So it's so quick. I sold it for 140 A little bit of a discount. Because I'm like, what's the point of selling stuff for the same price they could get online? I felt like it would have sold slower. Um, so that's gone. So now I have two more coffee. Uh, it's a set of two. Same coffee table. One big, one small. It's in my cart. I'm not going to rush to get it. Um, I'll probably get it next check. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. Um, the chairs I have, I have like the two leather chairs. They look like little foldables. I don't like them. I'm going to end up replacing them, but I'm going to take my time. Zeus. Zeus. He's here. Y'all can't see him. No, get down. I just wanted you to stop licking yourself. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I need to order my coffee tables. I need to get plants. It's bothering me the fact that I don't have, like, I have fake plants in the bedroom. Um, I have the hanging pearls. Are they called hanging pearls? I don't know. I got them off Amazon. And I'm probably going to do a, um apartment tour and go over everything I have and where I got everything from. Um, but I'm trying to decide, am I going to do that now or wait until everything is done? Or I can do one now and then do an updated one later. I don't know. But, yeah. So, I need plants. I need artwork. I've been trying to decide, am I going to do my own artwork or buy my artwork? Because honestly, the cost of doing it yourself, it sounds cheaper, but canvases aren't cheap. And, but if you do know a place where I can get cheap canvases, like gigantic canvases, let me know. Put it down in the comments. Because if I'm going to spend a couple of hundred on a canvas and I can spend that same couple hundred on the artwork that's already done and all I gotta do is put it on the wall I will do that instead of painting which I don't know I'm an artistic person but I'm not consistent. I'm just not consistent with anything. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's really a problem. The only thing I'm consistent with is getting up and going to work. 
That's the only thing, and that's because I have to. It's sad. And I start stuff and don't finish it. It's really a problem. How do I fix that, y'all? It's bad. I feel like it really... gets in the way of like how s successful I can be but I'm gonna just work at it try my hardest it has to I don't know but anywho that's where we're standing with the apartment um Zeus really likes it just being him and I I think it's made him more possessive of me because he, when we go to my mom's house, he, um, he don't really like it. Like, he'll go downstairs. His cage and stuff is still down there. So, he'll just go downstairs and get in his cage. And, like, chill. And when he's ready to go, he will come find me. I know, like, last week or something, he wouldn't even acknowledge my mama. I was like, what is wrong with this little boy? Just being rude. My mother <laughs> told him he couldn't come in her house if he she not he not going to acknowledge her. I don't know what he was on, but he's talking. I say talking. He's acknowledging her now. A little bit, I guess. But, yeah. Zeus is enjoying it. Aren't you, little boy? He's right here, y'all. Let me see. He be iffy about getting picked up. But here he is. Looking scruffy. He needs to go to the groomers. Um, These eyebrows look even to y'all? I guess. I don't know. This right one look a little rough. But, yep, apartment is good. I'm surviving. I cannot find my brush or my concealer. we need to talk about dating do i want to acknowledge dating i feel kind of yuck about it i don't know i don't really like dating y'all or yeah i don't know like i this is what i prefer i prefer to be in an environment where i can meet people like work but i'm working from home um i would rather be in an environment where i can meet new people and build friendships because in my mind if you can't be a good friend to me you can't be a good man to me in a relationship so that's how i would rather meet people like but not going to work and working from home changes things so i was talking to a few people but now i'm at the point where i don't want to talk to anyone like just leave me alone because it just seems like it's a total waste of time and at first it was fun like oh the mag is back <laughs> that's how i was feeling but really i'm not like, that's high school-ish. I'm 27 years old. I ain't got the time to be playing games. Well, I do got the time. But, I don't know. My best friend said, I do, like, the whole Mac situation is because, oh, crud, that's really high, but in the light, and I can't tell. 
Sorry, I'm gonna have to put this up so I can see. Cause I definitely just did that all on my eyebrow. I think this concealer is done, but my other one is too. Oh wait, no, I got another concealer in here. Cause I have another one that's in the closet, but it's too light. All right, I'm gonna use this Dose of Colors concealer. But yeah, what was I saying? The whole macking situation. Um, not for me. Honestly, truthfully, it's fun. Never a dull moment. Never bored. But what's the purpose? This color might be too bright too, but we just gonna go with it. Not really, it's okay. But, um, yeah, I don't wanna be a player no more. And that's just how I feel. But I also don't feel like I'm ready to settle down. I hit that again. Lord, my hands are not steady holding this thing. Sitting on there too long. Um, yeah, I just I don't know. And dating has changed. Have y'all noticed that? Like, dudes are acting different. Like, I really want some old school ish, like, not even old school, just respect for like wine and dining situation like the people just want to stay inside i don't know or well, maybe it's these particular dudes like Then I had somebody that I really liked, but got bad qualities. Like making plans, not stick them to, sticking to them. Like basically not sticking to his word. And that's a pet peeve for me. Like don't tell me you're going to come and see me and not come and see me. My daddy used to do that mess all the time. And as a little girl, that is the most hurtful little th hurtful mess ever. And I ain't trying to bring childhood trauma into it. But if I didn't like my dad doing it to me at a little at a young age, Negro, don't do that to me. Like, I don't know. That's hurtful to me, honestly. And um I try to be like more carefree. And, like, I'll give you the benefit of doubt a couple of times, but don't keep doing the mess. Because that just showed me that you really just don't care. And I be feeling like, all right, if you, I don't know. I might just be a little crazy, but I'm just like, all right, you either really don't want to hang out with me and you just won't say that. Or you hanging out with a whole other female Oh, I don't even want to bring that up. Oh, yeah. That might be for another video. I don't know. We keeping things positive over here. Um, But yeah, dating sucks. I want to say men sucks. Men suck. Yeah, I want to say men suck too. But I don't want y'all to think I'm being bitter because that's, that's not it. It's just my experience. Uh, experience with these men lately ain't been it and then i've had a situation like i don't know 
And it, mm, it's just so much stuff I gotta talk about when it comes to dating. I can't take it. I cannot. So right now, I ain't talking to nobody. Like I know. Yeah. I just can't do it. I ain't got the patience. The other day I posted, if you're not my best friend, who's a guy, or my girls, don't freaking try to talk to me because y'all be wasting my time. And I don't want my time wasted. I wasted 11 years. Was it 11? 10 plus? 10? Somewhere around there. I wasted 10 some years of my youth with somebody that I thought I was going to be married to. The furthest we could get is an engagement. And I might do a story time on that one day. But do y'all really think I'm going to waste any more time? Like, if I see a re red flag, if you're not treating me how I feel like I should be treated, if you're just not putting forth the effort, bye. Like, I do not have the time. Like, and you gotta be, you gotta offer me something more than just penis because, like, you gotta keep me entertained and the penis not enough to keep me entertained. I'm not even, like, I feel like if I really like you, like you, I'm like super sexual and stuff and yeah, but I'm not that type, like, my love language is not sex. My love language is time. Like, spend time with me. And every time we together, it ain't got to be on sex. Because, um, yeah, no. You got to have more to offer than that. And if there's any dudes watching this, you should want a female that wants more than just that. Unless that's just what y'all own. That's y'all only intentions. But if you want something more with them and that's all they can give you, you need to start reevaluating because that's just not enough. It is not. I don't know who told y'all it was, but not over here. Um, I'm gonna let that set, bake a little bit before I move on. Do a little stretch, my back hurt. Mm. Probably cause I'm just sitting here with no back support like I'm an old lady. Yeah, so dating, it's on pause. I'm not even in the mood. Um, which, yeah, I'm just not in the mood, which makes things a little more boring, but I'll just be bored because I don't want my time wasted at all. So, yeah, that's dating. And I feel like a lot of people, I don't know, life was so much easier before COVID. I could just vibe with, go to work. I'm not saying that was the purpose of me going to work, but like I could just vibe with people, see if I liked them, see how you seen the real you. Cause dating, people ain't showing their real selves. Zeus, you are stepping on my palate. Ooh, sir, sit down. Yeah, I don't know, but technically, how long I've been single? Maybe a year. So I can just be chilling. Ain't no rush. No rush. And people keep, not people, but like, y'all, stop asking me about kids. Like, I'll have kids when me and God agree it's time. But until then, leave me alone. Yes, I'm 27. I might not be meant to have kids. I might be meant to foster puppies or something. Like, Leave me alone about this kid situation. And luckily, my friend group, we ain't got no kids. So leave us alone. Like, keep asking us about kids. Like, chill. It's more to life than popping out babies. No offense to anybody popping out babies, but it's not for everybody. 
maybe we need to reach certain goals or maybe God got a different plan for us. Like, no. And I feel like, yes, when I was in love and thinking I was going to get married and all this other mess, yes, kids was on the table. But now, like, not even a relationship why are you asking me about kids I'm not saying you gotta be in a relationship to have kids but i'm not desperate or in a rush to have another bill zeus is a bill enough this apartment is enough of a bill so please i don't know right now it's a no to the kids until i find a man that I'm deeply in love with that'll make me change my mind. Goodness. And you know what's crazy? It's men asking me about kids. Like, leave me alone. Like, yes, our kids would be cute, but no. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. And ladies, be careful, because these men will try to uh, trap you. Women trap, but men trap too. Don't think they don't. Do not think they don't. Especially if you're in a relationship with them and they think it's coming to an end. Sis, be careful. Men, babies won't change relation, the, won't stop what's meant to end. And for the same thing for women too. I'm guessing these eyebrows are right. I can't really tell. I can't really see. Some on this brush. I don't know. All right. Let's get into shadow. Let's get into shadow. Oh, um, yeah. We're definitely going in with this color that's matching my hair right now because back like a couple of years ago i had uh, did like this lavender wig this pale lavender wig i think it was lavender and i was doing like lavender eyeshadow with it and that monochrome monochromatic moment was everything so we're doing it again today and lately i just been doing my shadow not I don't even know what outfit I'm putting on, but whatever shadow, we're going to make it work. The colors do not matter. And I'm lash free, so I can do shadow again. When I had my lash extensions, I wasn't doing shadow because it'll get them dirty. It'll get built up. It'll fall on, blah, 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 blah. But then I ain't got to worry about none of that. But yeah. Hmm. a lot of fallout but it's okay it's still a good palette we're going right in with this this might be the only color I, we use depending on how it blends out mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. again this is the palette if you're interested I should have freaking bought down the um I should conceal my whole my whole eye. I do have I bought this freaking eye primer and don't even use it. But then again, I don't be going nowhere. Which is gonna have to end soon because 
Like, I'm trying to save money, but staying in the house, working from home, takes a, um, it takes a toll on your mental. So, I have to go outside. When I was in a relationship, I was outside every weekend. Because I had somebody to do that with. Now, like, you ain't even got to be in a relationship to do that. But I still want good people around me to do that with. And lately, there hasn't been any. see this? This is a vibe. And honestly, if I used the eye primer, it would pop even more. Even more. So that color was vacation. I need one, but probably won't be going on one. I'll probably do a wintertime vacation. Like, go somewhere hot in the winter. Because, you know, next year, my car will be paid off by the beginning of next year. And I'm so happy. I'm gonna do, Once that car paid off, I'm going to just make it rain on myself all the time. And I'm going on a vacation somewhere hot because it's gonna be cold um so yeah no vacations planned for now all right um so vacation all over the lid but to blend i'm gonna go in with beach and like i love the fact that they put a freaking transition shade in here And I'm going right under my eyebrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Honestly, if you're not big on makeup, just do one color. You only need two colors. A freaking one shade. And then... A transition shade to blend it out. That's it. And it looks just as good as having 50 colors on your eyes. Oh, goodness. I'm saying Indian style. And at my age, uh, I got to stretch my legs out. Mm. I need to go outside today. I'm leaving the house. But where I'm going, of course, I'm going to my mama's house. Wait, Zeus, what do you want, sir? What do you want? I fed you. I walked you. You have water. Is it the fact that I'm recording that you want to bother me? Uh, oh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Zeus, go sit down. He spoiled, y'all. Go. Go sit down somewhere thank you appreciate it we are gonna go liner next and this is a liner at the end of my little that's just at the end of my stamps i don't know how y'all lining not in front of the mirror holding this this is, i'm gonna have to like rest my leg on my I mean, rest my arm on my leg to get this done. And if I'm not in the camera, I'm sorry. It 
it's not gonna work. I can't do that. Let me put my liner on in the bathroom and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and the liner is done. I don't know how y'all sit here, hold up this mirror and draw a straight line. I'm talented, but not that talented evidently. Eyes are done for the most part. Last step will be mascara for right now. And honestly, this is my normal routine um, that I'm doing, like my everyday routine. I don't use foundation and all that other stuff. I put on some moisturizer, do my eyes, bronze, blush, blah, blah, blah. Everything that I'm about to do, eyeshadow is usually a neutral color. Um, but yeah, this is what I normally do on a regular basis. I only use like a CC cream. Is it CC cream? is this oh tinted moisturizer I only use that when something special happening but we about to go in with this blush by juvia's place which i probably used in the last video i'm gonna go in with this angle brush that already has blush on it dip in shake off I gotta remind myself to do this lightly because that may be too lightly unless that's the lighting because it don't look like I did anything there goes something This is where I put my blush. Same place I put my highlight. This is where I put my blush. I just feel like I just keep going. I'm gonna be looking crazy, but I just can't see. I see that. bring that back a little bit because we about to bronze and I'm still using this soap and glory bronzer hidden pan I had it for years same spots I put the blush Honestly, if you think about it, I'm basically bronzing with blush and then using the bronzer as a highlight. And I know it's white around my eyes still, but it'll go away once we, um, That's a, I don't really use that concealer, so hopefully, will um it'll go away once I set it. And honestly, I don't know if it's the concealer or the setting powder. Either way, um, but yeah. Speaking of oh, so I said my car be paid off. My car, I'm probably going to need to get another one, but I'm going to try to wait and not get another car as soon as this one is paid off. I am going to sell this one, but I just want a little time without a car payment. That's what I want. Hopefully the universe allows it. My car, it's been running and stuff, but the check engine light is on. And when I went to get the oil change, 
they reset it and it wasn't on but then it came back on but then when i talked to him this sound a little suspicious he was like oh well the check engine light is on don't worry too hard you'll be okay it's just us it's just a notification of something but he said as long as it's not blinking crazy we'll be all right but it's bothering me driving around with a check engine light on and then when i started or something it like be shaking a little bit I just need fully maintenance on that, which I just did, but I need brakes, I need tires, and whatever is going on in the inside that's causing things. It only happens when the AC is on. But I need that looked at. Just dollar signs, that's all I see when I start talking about cars. Um, We are gonna put some gloss on. I normally line my lips, but my lip liner isn't in here. And it's not even sharpened. I like to overline, but today we just gonna have some basic lips. And this is my favorite, this cab lip oil. It was in the Boxy Charms one, the Rum Punch one. And I just bought this new one. They have it at Walmart now. It is freaking amazing. Like a gloss and it hydrates my lips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish I had some liner. My lips looking real basic. But anywho, um, I feel like we talked about a few things. I went on a little rant, but it was nice to get in front of the camera and talk to y'all. I'm gonna try to stay more consistent. I say that in every video. Maybe I shouldn't say it no more. And I was, oh wait. Before we move further, let me uh, spray my face with this rose water setting spray from Maven Beauty. I believe Maven, Maven, Maven Beauty is the Fashion Nova beauty brand. But this was in my Boxy Charms too, so. Why did I do all that? I don't know. It looks nice. My eyebrow. I might have to go in my eyes again. Mm. Just the eye, upper eyebrow area, really. It's looking real ashy. All right. Let me find something to put on, and I will be back. I think I need to wipe my teeth tonight. We'll see. I'll be back. All right, y'all. Your girl done combed this wrap down. Um, which yesterday, like, I haven't streamed my hair in years. And I didn't remember how to wrap my hair, but we made it. Or press it. So this is what you got. Just straightness. No curl, no nothing. Because I couldn't remember how to use a flat iron. But I am dressed. I want to show y'all the fit, but it's nothing fancy. Black shirt, black washed jeans, but we didn't do any mascara. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll have to say our goodbyes. But I'm going in with the classic Great Lash by Maybelline. And we're gonna do top and bottom. This I look a little crazy, but this 
This is my first time wearing these earrings. I got them from a flea market, I believe. They are, um, what's it called? What's that machine? The plastic machine that cut and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. But anywho, thank you guys for getting ready with me, listening to me talk. Please, if you have your opinions on what we talked about today, put them down in the comments. Like, subscribe, go watch some old videos. I I mean, I don't have that many videos, so you can watch them real quick. You can even go back to the ones way back when with me and my ex and be nosy. I don't care. But anywho... Thank you for listening to me talk today. Please like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll be back soon with another video. Bye, guys.